Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Rail of Fine. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Before we talk about uh, Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl, cheating, baby mamas, all of that stuff. Um, like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. All of that normal stuff that uh, us YouTubers, Rumblers, social media people ask you to do. Um, also consider joining thirdrailify.locals.com best place to support me if, you know we're gonna we're gonna kick that community into high gear and it's gonna be a great time all right the so foo fighters dave Grohl admits cheating on wife jordan blum and fathering a secret love child i i i guess I don't know. I guess. I mean, I, I this story is from yesterday, and I I just, I kind of read the title, and I just kind of sighed, and I thought to myself, uh, you know, it's a human mistake, it's a shitty mistake, very very bad mistake, but I also was thinking about when Donald Trump used that snippet of "My Hero," which is actually my favorite song of of all time and the shit fit that dave Grohl threw despite the song being perfectly licensed legally up legally up the wazoo he threw a, a real shit fit and i thought well there there goes my childhood uh like musical hero right um i i grew up with foo fighters being my favorite band of literal all time um it was always between them and like incubus also corn but i don't want to talk about that ah, um and seeing how like all of all of the uh i don't know bands of my childhood they suck i guess that's what i'm wrestling with that's kind of the thing they all they all suck now why do they suck for raging on behalf of the machine we're raging for the machine now. Is that is that what we're doing? I mean, smashing pumpkins. Well, we can't smash pumpkins anymore because that would be that would be wrong. Everyone has to wear the mask and has to get the injections. We have to do what the authoritarian leaders say. There's there's no more there's no more like rock and roll. God damn it! Like let's talk. Metallica's a bunch of pussies as well. Holy cow! So you know it's just. Uh, Aside from the whole thing being disappointing, the whole music thing is just disappointing. Uh, I'm disappointed in Dave Grohl. I'm sure he's disappointed in himself. His wife is probably disappointed. His kids are probably disappointed. It's just, you know, the Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl, admits cheating on wife Jordan Blum and fathering secret love child. Dave Grohl has admitted to cheating on his wife Jordan Blum and fathering a secret baby girl. Foo Fighters singer 55 and he's 15 years older than I am that's crazy made the shocking admission on a statement uh, posted to Instagram on Tuesday so again he's I've, I've been uh, I've been to plenty of Foo Fighters concerts I've been you know you know I guess this was before they were like very leftist pieces of garbage um and D Dave Grohl's very chatty, so like in between his sets or whatever, he tells you the funniest, the funniest stories, and and, and he'll just like, it's just like he's talking to you. A hundred thousand people, or fifty thousand people, or whatever, but he's talking to you. It's great. It's a, he's a great quality he has, and and they're great stories. Sometimes he'll you know talk about his, you know, just like good, good wholesome stories. And then I'm watching Sesame Street with my kids, and he has a Dave Grohl has a skit with with Elmo and Big Bird about how they're how they're rocking their way across the USA. Here we go. We're on our way. It's an amazing trip across the USA. And I, it's catchy. It's and it's wholesome. And then. It makes you think that like he's he's like a good human being. You can sort of get sucked into the the marketing of it, and 
it, it's just disappointing. You know what I mean? The statement read, I've recently become the father of a new baby girl born outside of my marriage. I plan to be a loving and supportive parent to her. I love my wife and my children, and I'm doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. We're grateful for your consideration toward all the children involved as we move forward together. I mean, his, his, his wife is probably furious. Like, I guess, you know, thoughts and prayers with her or whatever. Roll and Blum, 48, met in 2001 and have been married since 2003, sharing three daughters, Violet, Harper, and Ophelia. So I guess she, the wife, Blum, uh, previously worked as a model and a TV producer. The rock star, who has often been described as a family man, has spoken about the importance of his family in interviews throughout the years. And, and, that, and that's, what, that's what I'm talking about, right? So you kind of get a sense of, of something like I could I could be wrong and do correct me if I am because I don't want to be wrong about this but I was I was under the impression that the song My Hero you know there goes my hero watch him as he goes that kind of thing um that's about fathers about fathers being a child's hero that's that speaks to me I want to be my children's hero if I can achieve that in life then I I, I win life. That's it. I, I win life if, if I can do that. Right? So that's, I, I don't know, maybe maybe it's a podium or whatever I've put Dave Grohl on for some weird reason, accidentally somehow, or maybe the, the family man essence of him was on a podium. I don't know. You know, I, I, grew, I, I grew up sort of like following his music. Not so much in the last, I don't know, handful of years as I've become more conservative and he's gotten more lefty and outspoken about the leftiness, especially during the pandemic when he was like, if you don't get your injection or wear a mask, you can like F off. I don't, I don't want you around if you're like a, like a, like a Trump voter. I'm like, ah, goodness. Ironically, as I wear my Trump hat. Yeah. So in 2007, Grohl told the guardian, my wife, Jordan and daughter Violet are anchors that keep me from completely disappearing. Speaking to Time Magazine in uh, 2012, he said his family changed everything that I do. And those are two statements that I, I, I agree with. He added, it's changed everything that I do. When you have kids, you see life through different eyes. You feel love more deeply and are a maybe a little more compassionate. It's inevitable that you would make its way into your songwriting. Roll divorced his first wife. Jennifer Lee Young Blood in ninety seven after admitted to cheating. While little is publicly known about Blum, people reported that she once appeared on the cover of Teen after being discovered as supermarket when she was twelve. Blum was reportedly working as an MTV producer when she met Dave Grohl. Uh, but Grohl told L in two thousand seven that he was not ready for a serious relationship when they first met and stopped calling her after a few dates. Well, she is pretty. Uh, he, uh, he says, after three months, I had a revelation and called her back. She picked up and said, oh, I never thought I'd hear from you again. Blum has collaborated with the Foo Fighters several times, including the band's uh, 2002 White Limo, where she made an appearance. She also co-directed the Foo Fighters' 2002 Walking a Line music video. News of Grohl's infidelity comes after he was seen with a Blum at Wimbledon in July. So the rest of that argument goes on about him taking a swipe at Taylor Swift and about the little uh, Trump RFK fiasco he had there. Dave Grohl's daughters delete their social media accounts as he admits cheating on their mom, Jordan Blum. So his two oldest daughters have taken down the social media accounts after he admitted to cheating on their mom, Jordan Blum, and fathering a secret baby girl. So that's Violet and Harper. They've deleted their Instagram accounts. Probably um, if they were getting sh shit on, you know, that's unfortunate. They don't deserve to be shit on. Um, or they did it so they don't get shit on. But if, if we're going to shit on anybody, we're going to shit on Dave, right? Nobody else did anything, uh, you know. 
like there's a bunch of other stories here like Dave Grohl's wife Jordan ditched a wedding ring before Love Child News. Maybe maybe they're on the rock. Why Dave Grohl chooses a humble life despite being worth three hundred and thirty million dollars. I mean, I guess a lot of people are reading those things, but it's not it's a it's a bit of a shocking story. It's not the biggest story in the world. We're not gonna really go too far deep into it. Just wanted to, I don't know, put that out there for whatever reason, that story. I was surprised. I thought maybe you would be too. So we're just going to keep this a nice little short one. Thank you for watching. Do like, subscribe, share, all of those things. I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. Peace.